everyone. Let me walk you through the demo of advanced down payment for sale and purchase in Odoo by Browseinfo. This powerful tool enables user to make and track advanced down payments directly from sale and purchase order. With an intuitive advanced payment wizard, you can select payment journals, set payable amounts and manage all advanced payments from a dedicated tab. When invoices or bills are created, advanced payments automatically appear as outstanding credit or debits, ensuring seamless reconciliation with a single click. Perfect for improving cash flow, reducing financial discrepancies and maintaining accurate records. This module enhances efficiency and simplify payment management. We will go into the settings. Under user and company, select user, select Michelle admin. And now in the others, you can see a checkbox named allow sale order advance payment. We will enable that checkbox and save it. Now we will go into the sales module and we will create a new quotation. Here add a customer. I am adding Gemini furniture. Now add a product. I will be adding acoustic blocks. You can enter a unit price. Here I am entering 5000 as a unit price. Now confirm the sale order and here you can see all the details. Now here you can see a button named advance payment. Click on that. Now enter the amount you need to pay and enter a payment journal. Here I am selecting as bank. Here you can see the remaining amount. Now click on make payment. And in the advanced payment tab, you can see all the details of your advanced payment. Here you can see the date, the reference number, the journal and everything and also how much amount you have paid and the status. Now we will enter the quantity and validate the delivery. After that, we will create an invoice. Click on create invoice. And here you can see the invoice is created in draft state. Now confirm it. And here you can see that you can add the outstanding credits here. When you click on add, you can see a partial banner is appeared on the invoice saying this invoice is partially paid. Here you can see the amount due. And also what you have paid in here. Now you can click on general entry info and you can see the payment details of your partial payment. Here you can see the amount and also in partial info you can see from which sale order you have paid your advance payment. After that again we will go into the configuration in settings we will find a checkbox named auto reconcile advance payment under advance payment menu enable that checkbox and save it now again we will create a new quotation here add a customer i am adding azure as a new customer add a product i am adding cable management box i am entering unit price as 2000 and now I will confirm the sale order. After that, we will click on advance payment and we will enter the amount we want to pay right now. I am entering 500. After in payment general, I am selecting cash and you can see the remaining amount. Now click on make payment and here you can see the payment is done. Now validate the delivery. And in advance payment, you can see your advance payment record. After that, we will create an invoice. And in here, when I am confirming the invoice, you can see the partial banner is appeared automatically. And from here, you can see the general entry info. Here you can see the amount you paid and also the payment info from 
what sale order you have paid your advance payment now again we will go into the settings under users and companies we will go into the user in michel admin we will find another checkbox named allow purchase order advance payment we will enable that and save it now we will go into the purchase module we'll click on purchase module and we will create a new rfq here i am entering a new vendor as azure and we will add a product i am selecting large cabinet and also you can see the unit price as 800 now we will confirm the purchase order here also you can see the button advance payment click on that enter the amount you want to pay and you can see the remaining amount here select the payment journal and click on make payment here also in advanced payment tab you can see your advanced payment info here you can see the journal your number date and amount now we will validate the receipt and create bill click on create bill here you can see the draft bill confirm it enter the bill refund bill or refund date and then confirm the bill here you can see the bill details and also a add button under the outstanding tablets here you can see after clicking on that a partial banner is appeared on the bill by clicking on uh, i info you can view your journal entry here you can see the amount you have paid and also in payment info you can see of which purchase order you have paid your advance payment now we will go under the configuration in settings you will find a boolean named auto reconcile advance payment enable that and save it again under orders in rfq we will create a new rfq enter a, enter a vendor i am entering deco addict as my vendor and i will create i will add a product i am selecting cabinet with doors and i am entering their unit price i am entering thousand as its unit price now i will confirm the order i will click on advance payment and here you can write the amount you want to pay i am entering 500 and here you can see the remaining amount enter your payment journal i am selecting cash and make payment again in the advance payment tab you can see all the information you have paid the amount now click on receipt validate that now we will create a bill click on create bill here you can see the draft bill now we will confirm that bill add a bill or refund date i am adding today's date and confirm it here you can see the partial banner is automatically generated from here you can see your general entry info here you can see the amount you have paid and also the payment info for which uh, purchase order you have made your advance payment if you have any queries about this video you can ask them in the comment box and we will solve your queries if you feel this video is useful to you please link and subscribe to our youtube channel for more odoo related videos thanks for watching